الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with guidance with forgiveness and istiqama ala kitab wa sunnah and it's imperative that we are cautious of the traits of the people of hypocrisy and the people of disbelief and the people who wish to harm the sunnah and the people of Ahl sunnah wa iyadan billah min dhalik and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Tawbah mentions some of the characteristics of the people of nifaq, of the people of hypocrisy. Qala subhana fi kitabihi al-kareem Al-munafiqoon wal-munafiqat ba'dhum ba'dhum min ba'dhin ya'muroon bil-munkar wa yanhoon al-ma'roof wa yaqbidoon <coughs> ويقبضون أيديهم نسوا الله فنسيهم إن المنافقين هم الفاسقون. الله the Almighty mentions about the hypocrites in Surah Tawbah verse 68. He Subhanahu wa Taala says the hypocrites, the men and the women, they are from one another. You know they have an understanding with one another. They enjoin evil and forbid what is good, and are close with their hands. They are closed with their hands. They have forgotten Allah, so He has forgotten them. Verily, the hypocrites are rebellious and perverse. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala makes clear for us those characteristics which we want to avoid, and we want to check within ourselves: Do we have these characteristics? Do we have the characteristics of the people of hypocrisy? وعياذ بالله من ذلك. شيخ إمام السعدي رحمه الله تعالى one of the great scholars of Ahl Sunnah who was one of the ulama of uh, one of the mishayikh of uh, Sheikh Muhammad Salih bin Uthaymeen رحمه الله تعالى رحمه الله تعالى <coughs> The Sheikh said in explaining this verse he said يقول تعالى المنافقون والمنافقات بعضهم من بعض. He said, explaining this verse where Allah says that the hypocrites, the male hypocrites and the female hypocrites, they are from one another. He said this is because they share in hypocrisy with one another, and they share a love for one another, and this is why the believers. Do not have love for the people of nifaq, the people of hypocrisy. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions the characteristics of the munafikin, and this is a characteristic inherent in in all the hypocrites. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ya bil munkar that they order, they command with uh, wickedness. Imam Sa'di says, وَهُوَ كُفْرُ وَالْفُصُوقُ وَالْإِسْيَانِ Imam Sa'di said, explaining this, that the thing that the hypocrites command to is they command the people to disbelief and wickedness and sinfulness. وَيَنْحُونَ عَنَ الْمُنْكَرِ And they prohibit from good things. And Imam Sa'di says, وَهُوَ الْإِيمَانُ وَالْإِخْلَاقُ الْفَاضِلَةُ وَالْأَعْمَالُ الصَّالِحَةُ وَالْآدَابُ الْحَسْنَةُ الْحُسْنَةُ So Imam Sa'di says that the thing that the hypocrites prohibit from is Iman, from faith. And they prohibit the people from good manners, from righteous characteristics and righteous deeds and good manners and excellent manners these are the opposite characteristics of the believers who ya'muruna bi ma'ruf wa yanhauna 'anil munkar the believers they order with good they command the good and they forbid the evil then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa yaqbiduna aydiyahum 
that they close their hands. Imam Sa'di says, explaining this verse, he said, عَنَ الصَّدَقَ وَالتُرْقَ الْإِحْسَانِ فَوَصَفَهُمْ بِالْبُخُلْ He says that they close their hands uh, from, from charity. They don't give in charity. And from good, the, the paths of goodness. So Allah described them with bukhl, with miserliness. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Nasu Allah, meaning that they forget Allah. They don't remember Allah. Imam Sa'di says, فَلَا يَذْكُرُونَهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا So this is the sifat of the hypocrites, is that they do not remember Allah except a little. So the hypocrites, you'll find that they do remember Allah. Very little though. So in all the characteristics, the characteristics we have in the Qur'an, Allah mentions that the hypocrites, they do do some dhikr. They do remember Allah. But it's very little. It's very rare. So if they pray, maybe just a little bit they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just a little. But mostly they busy themselves without, with things of the world. And maybe their cade or their plots against the, the believers and ahl sunnah then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَنَسِيَهُمْ Then he forgets them, or he leaves them. Imam Sa'di says, explaining this, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, that they are forgotten or left from his mercy. And Allah does not give them tawfiq, or does not give them the, uh, the ability to have khayr, to have goodness. Because, because they forgot Allah, they didn't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Allah didn't give them tawfiq in doing good. And they will not enter paradise. Rather, Allah will leave them in the lowest level of the hellfire. And forever they will abide with those who abide forever. This is the state of the hypocrites. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ Allah the Almighty then says, and verily the hypocrites, they are the wicked doers. Imam Sa'adi says about this, that their, their fisk, their fisk is accounted for here. Because their fisk, because their, their evil and wickedness is so great, it's greater than the evil of those uh, other than them. And this is why, and, this, and the evidence of this is, is meted out in the fact that their punishment is so severe. And their punishment is greater than, than the punishment of others. And also the believers could be tested with the hypocrites. The believers are tested with the hypocrites, especially when they reside amongst them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So this is why there is a stern warning to be cautious of the hypocrites. This is what the believers should be aware of. And we should be, be in Allah ta'ala to be cautious and careful of those characteristics. Watch yourself. Check yourself. Do you have those characteristics? Are you pleased with the harm caused to the believers? Are you pleased when Ahl Sunnah is weak? Do you wish to see harm upon Ahl Sunnah? Do you remember Allah only a little in your life? This is what you should be cautious of. And I ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us for any of our shortcomings and any of our sins and protect us from hypocrisy and ahl al nifaq May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the people of hypocrisy. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them clear for us so that our communities will be safe and that we can safeguard our ranks from them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the plans and plots of anyone who hates the Muslims. Anyone who wants harm to the Muslims, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala return that harm upon them in such a severe way that their faces are turned into the most severe of creatures and make it clear so that the believers can be aware for them. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with good and forgive us for evil. 
وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد